We need 28,200 aircraft. That's an awful lot of aircraft worth $4 trillion. But of course, over 19,000 of them are going to be in the single aisle market. That's the aircraft like the A320 behind me today. About 7,000 are in the twin category, and about 1,700 aircraft are going to be in the A380 category of aircraft. Still, it's a growth market. It'll have its ups and downs, but it's quite that growth market. If we look at the markets today, if we look at the, the world today, there's seven billion of us in the world today, and as we get money, we like to fly, both for business and for pleasure. We all know that. Of that seven billion, one billion people are in the Western world, Western Europe, the US, Canada, Australia. Six billion are in the developing and emerging markets. These are the people that want to fly. 1.3 billion people in China, 1.2 billion people in India. They don't fly very much today. They want to fly and will begin flying over this 20-year period. That's the growth of the middle class. That's why we'll continue to need all of these aircraft. There are three mega markets uh, in the world uh, today. There's North America, there's Europe, and there's Asia Pacific. Today, they're all about equal at 27, 28 percent of the market. But in 20 years, there'll be a dramatic shift. Asia Pacific will be about a third. North America will be down to 20 percent. Sure, they're all going to grow. Of the 28,000 aircraft we're talking about building, 40 percent of them are going to go to the U.S. and to Western Europe. That's really for replacement and some growth. But the real story is out in the emerging markets, in China and in India. We have aircraft like the A380 because, as we know, at Heathrow, for example, how are we going to double traffic? How are we going to do that? Double the number of flights? No, you can't. We have to have larger, more efficient aircraft. But it's not just Heathrow. There are 42 megacities today, aviation megacities we call them, with over 10,000 international passengers per day. That's going to grow in 20 years to 92 megacities. So with all this growth in traffic, we cannot just double or triple the number of flights around the world. We need to have more efficient aircraft, but we also need to have larger aircraft, which by definition are inherently more efficient. An A380 taking off from Heathrow will have about 150 more passengers on board than the old 747. But it'll consume less fuel, It'll make less noise by about 50 percent, and it'll even consume less runway. That's modern technology. The trend over the next 20 years is not more of the same. It's larger aircraft, cleaner aircraft, more fuel-efficient aircraft.